Logan explains why he hasn't popped his claws in 50 years, starting with the night the villains finally organized. It began at the X-Mansion when Jubilee informed him about distress calls from the Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D., the Fantastic Four, and Wakanda. As she tried to respond, a high-pitched noise interrupted, and they were ambushed by a horde of supervillains. Wolverine found Jubilee dead, then got trapped by Dr. Octopus while the villains destroyed the X-Mansion. Wolverine broke free and unleashed his fury, stabbing Claw and Dr. Octopus, slashing Green Goblin and cutting through Blob, Mr. Sinister, Sabretooth, Scorpion, the Absorbing Man, and Shocker. After a brutal 90-minute fight, only Bullseye remained. Wolverine finally gained the upper hand, stabbing Bullseye in the chest. As Bullseye lay dying, he begged Wolverine to stop, reminding him they were supposed to be friends. Mysterio then appeared, revealing that the people Wolverine had just killed weren't villains, they were his fellow X-Men, his only friends and family. Later, Hawkeye asks if Logan really killed the X-Men. Logan admits he did, explaining that Mysterio's illusion made them seem different. Distraught, Logan wandered through the woods, crying for days. He wanted to die, so he laid his neck on a train track. Clint points out that a train can't kill Logan due to his healing factor, but Logan says it still hurt, and sometimes that's enough. Logan insists he's a farmer now and tells Clint not to ask him to fight again. Clint agrees, saying, Your call, brother. As they continue their journey, they reach a toll bridge where a kid named Dwight demands 80 cents to cross, threatening to release ants if they don't pay. Clint pays the toll, and Logan asks if Dwight was serious. Clint assures him he was, adding that Logan's story was rough, but Logan brushes it off, saying, forget about it, bub. The past only hurts if we let it catch up with us.